Last updated December 14, 2017 71,884 71 by Amelia Sithole Materize Reuters Zimbabwe's new president Emerson Namagwa on Thursday called for the removal of Western sanctions on his government during a speech to ruling party officials and said elections due in 2018 were nearer than you expect. Emerson Namagwa Center and his wife Auxilia Wright arrive at the presidential inauguration ceremony in the capital Harare, Zimbabwe, Friday, November 24, 2017. Nangagwa is being sworn in as Zimbabwe's president after Robert Mugabe resigned on Tuesday, ending his 37-year rule. App photo Ben Curtis Nangagwa, 75, became leader of the Southern African nation last month after the military and ruling ZANUPF turned against Robert Mugabe who had ruled the country for 37 years and was seen grooming his wife Grace to succeed him. While the European Union removed sanctions on ZANUPF officials, members of the military and some government-owned firms in 2014, the United States has kept a travel and economic embargo on several ruling party elites. We call for the unconditional lifting of the political and economic sanctions, which have crippled our national development. Nangagwa told a meeting of the ZANUPF Central Committee in downtown Harare, We realize that isolation is not splendid or viable as there is more to gain. Through solidarity, mutually beneficial partnerships, the international community will be closely watching the next elections in 2018, which Nangagwa said would be free and fair and would be held nearer than most. People expect the vote is due at the end of July in 2018 but there is Talk it can be brought forward as early as March. Government will do all in its powers to ensure that the elections are credible, free and fair. These elections are nearer than what you expect, he said without elaborating. Emerson Nangagwa Zimbabwe sanctions previous post to Frexham Bank to construct multi-million dollar complex next post Nangagwa policies are ours says MDC MP support Nihanda Radio Natia.